Okay, I guess I just had to stay inside the key. All right, whatever then. Here comes the boy. Oh, there he goes. Free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty, free at last. All right. Hello, everybody. My oh, Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Oh, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. We do not have much fresh air on our end. Hello, everybody. My name is Jacob, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We are back here with these crazy bird and bear uh, best bud duo of a pair, and we have just rescued Clanker, this really just creepy looking monstrosity of a ship, or of a garbage disposal is what he says he is. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, I mean, well, it is coming from him, so I imagine he would know if anybody would what his duties and job and things like that are. Um, but yeah, we just rescued this poor sod from being trapped, um, underwater with nary a bit of fresh air. I'm also realizing the longer and longer I play this extremely British game, the more and more British I talk. Um, but we have rescued him from being trapped under, uh, water with not a fresh piece of fresh air to drink, to have... Bzz, Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. Alright, how do I help Clanker? Does this take me up to some new place? Oh, it does. Whoop! Alright, note to self, jump off of that. I hate the way... I don't even know a way to say that without it being suggested. I hate the way his hole is moving. Is that the way, proper way to say that? Okay. I also don't like the way he's staring at me. We'll go in the hole first, I guess. Okay. Okay, and now her eyeballs are popping out. I hate that it sounds like flesh when I walk on it, on the red stuff, I hate it. Ow, I really thought I could get through here without getting sliced up, but I guess that's just not possible. Hey game, I hate to ask. Considering that I got in through his blowhole, which was towards the front of his face where his mouth was, what ha wh where do I go if I walk out this door? Where do I go, game? Okay, apparently in here? What's in here? Okay. We're in Clanker's stomach, I guess. We gotta fly through some hoops, I'm assuming. Or maybe we did. Oh, well, there's a green hoop. And there's a bunch of blue ones. And there's a bunch of... What are the... I don't like all the, like, tendrils that are just oozing back and forth. I don't like it at all. It's not... I don't think it's fun. It doesn't look... Okay. Wrong one, I guess. What about the tiny one? Do I go through the tiny one first? Okay, I guess not. Okay, hey, Clanker, you want to stop your tendrils from whipping around and potentially smacking me, considering I'm down here helping you? I'm doing this of my own volition to help you out. I don't have to be down here crawling in your insides. I choose to be, because I'm a nice person. Okay, and this is a way out. Okay, that's out through his gills. Interesting. A lot of interesting stuff going on in this level. A lot of crawling around on the inside of a big fish creature, more so than I was initially anticipating. All right, let's try to get this jiggy up top first. Spit me out, there we go. Okay. Let's just try to walk as straight as possible. A big issue for me, as has been widely stated in numerous videos of mine from here to the end of time. Let me guess, now I gotta do the backflip jump. Yeah, now I gotta do the backflip jump. Thank you, Kazooie, making everything 
work right for the first time ever. Okay. Is there anything else that I need to get to from up here? Looks like there's some stuff that I can get to, but I imagine in order to properly finish this level, I have to help Clanker first. Like, feel like himself again. Oh, may, like, because I'm imagining, like, oh, if I help him fix his teeth, maybe he'll, like, raise up a little higher, or maybe he'll, like, his he'll wave his hands about or something. I don't know. It's just my assumptions. Okay, bunch of crabs. Ow. Not what I wanted to happen. Hey! How am I supposed to defeat the crabs if I'm not given the opportunity to? There we go. Lots of honeycomb pieces falling to the underwater, but I need those, so I'm gonna just take those right back. What's up, you filthy crab? There's a mumbo skull. We are just traipsing around this guy's teeth. Is the mumbo skull meant to represent like, oh, he has a silver tooth? Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> My apologies, I ate lunch shortly before this. And it appears that my stomach is still enjoying said lunch. Oof. My apologies. All right, um, so if that's the way I came in and I clearly can't get out that way, let's get out this way. Oh, okay, so this, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so what... Is the green one the one I start with? Okay, that is the one. Okay, and then now that green one. And then now that green one. Swim. I'm pressing the button to make you swim faster. Oh, uh-oh. Is the next green one... It is... Oh, but I just have to backflip through it. I don't have to fly through it. Got it. Okay, come on. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. If I turn around to go through it back this way... No! No, why do I... Why do I have that much momentum? Oh, and there... Okay, well, hey, there were three more left. Not the one that I... Not just one more, that like I thought. Wow, that really screwed me. Okay. Oh, wow, there's so many left. Alright, let's go. And then... We'll just swim like this. And then we'll just dive through. And then come back up to the surface. And we'll do a backflip through this one. And then, forget about turning back around. Is it these? Okay, it's these two. Boom. Come on. Come on, Kazooie, don't fail me now. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and the water's raising a bit, interesting. Oh, and since the water's raising, now not only can I get the jiggy, but I can get to that other... I can get to the other hole. Very nice. Very nice. You know, I gotta say, for a place called Clanker's Cavern, I was honestly not expecting the said cavern to be so well based around the inside of him. Gotta say. Okay, I don't need any more of those, but I will gladly take them. Okay, so that takes me down below. I guess we might as well. I mean, clearly there's something down here. Oh, it's a Jing Jinjo. Woo! All right, back up top, back up top, back up top. Okay.
All right, I'm also trying to think to myself, like, once we're done with this level, where do we go? Because the only other places that I can think of would be um, that snow level and then the... Um, oh, right, the opposite side. Um, there's the snow level and then there's the, um, the like, click clock wood level area. Oh, hold on. My capture card glitched. This is the first time that's happened in a while. Just got to really quick do that and then do a little bit of that. And it plugs back in. Give me one second. I apologize for the technical difficulties. There we go. There we go. Boy, I'm glad I figured that out before I... Whoa! Whoa! Hey, uh, but Goggles, could your move maybe help with this? This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely, though, as this move requires gold feathers. You can, you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. I already have ten. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. I press the right stick? Okay, that makes a lot of sense, I guess. Alright, cool. I'm in- I have an invincible move now. That's helpful, I guess. All right, cool. I made it out. Um, how many uh, music? No I mean, I don't. I know I don't have all the music notes, but I got 65. I need to dive down below because there's one more down this way that I missed back when I was being foolish. Just, just, nope, nope, just. Just turn. Yep, just go and turn yourself, and there we go. All right, I think that's all the music notes that are inside Clanker. Um, but is he still upset about his teeth? Oh, wait, hold on. There's a gold tooth right there. What if I... Come here. That did something. It made a good noise. So clearly that did something. Okay, yay. Toothache, this side gone. Clanker swallowed reward. Is there a toothache on the other side that I need to make gone? There is. So two toothaches makes for two jiggies, which takes me to eight jiggies. And then it's just the Jinjos, and I think there's one up top in here. Come here. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, this tooth not hurt now. Teeth all better now. Thank you, bear. You're very welcome. Can I swim in through your tooth? As a hole to go in? Knowing this game, I would... Yep. It's about what I expected. Ikombokum. And then I guess the other... Nope, not what I wanted to do. I want to go on the other side to the other tooth and see if the Jiggy is sitting up on top of that tooth. Because the last thing I want to do is wander around aimlessly looking for... Yup! Knew it. Okay, so that's all of... That's all of... Um... I'm pretty sure that's all of... Clanker's inner issues. I mean, if he's got any more, I doubt I can help with those. Those seem like maybe ones he should go see a doctor about. Because I know there's the Jinjos, and there's the, um, there's that one that I saw up top that I don't know how to get to because I have to open a thing to get to it. And then I'm guessing that's it. Well, no, because that would... I would still be one short. 
Oh, but there's all the pipes and stuff around on these sides. All right. There's got to be... Yeah, see, I see a, a mumbo skull over this way. There's got to be a bunch of... Um, there's got to be a jiggy or something down one of these. It's like a jiggy down the pipe or down the side or something. They all have fun names, although the game doesn't want to tell you the names. It's up to the walkthrough makers to make the fun names. All right, anything this way? Or is this just a, hey, buddy? Nope, turn back around, guys. Yep, and then there's just one more left, which I think I saw up, like, on one of those pipes up top. Maybe. I don't know for sure, can't exactly check them right now, but we shall see. Okay. So that's the pipe that leads out that other way. So let's go check down the, this back way with this green pipe. Although, I will catch some air first. And now, down, Periscope! Dive, 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 bird and bear! Where could this lead? Oh, I know where this leads. I've been back here already. That's fine, though, because I'll just dive back down. And then we'll just peruse the right side. Through all these tunnels. Ooh, some music notes, too. Gotta make sure to get those. Those definitely won't be a pain in the butt, because I'll be swimming while trying to get them. Did I already go through here? I don't think I did. But it's a whole new session. A whole new day, so... There's that last one, so now it really is just the Jinjos and that one up top. I am very smart. Okay. Come on, guys. A little faster, a little faster now. A little faster now, and head up. Head upwards. Head upwards. Okay. You can do it. You can make it. Oh! Whew. Barely, but we made it. Alright, let's go get these music notes. While I still have the patience with the swimming. Because Lord knows that won't last for much longer. Okay, just... I would say bear paddle, but that's too slow. And... Alright, whew, got them all. Don't have to loop back around in any crazy, insane way. Alright, the way to get up top, I think the key is right over here. But the true question is... Yeah, how do I do that? Oh, I can fight them? Well, I wish I knew that before. Okay. Um. Yep, and then just gotta go and make this. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We're continuing down the path of basically getting a jiggy every... Or... Not a jiggy, I'm sorry. We're continuing down the path of basically 100%ing a level every um, couple episodes. Okay, so how do I get over there? Oh, okay, so I just use the jump. I just climb that. Okay. But I still don't know. I bet it's more obvious how I get that jiggy once I'm actually over there. So we'll wait until I'm actually over there to worry about that. Okay, yeah, I knew you could make it, Banjo. Who's whistling for me? Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, okay, but that's fine. I got all the music notes, which was honestly going to be the biggest struggle of, the, of that whole thing, so. And actually, let's head over here. And take this guy out just so I can restock on my eggs. Because I'm pretty low. Ow. 
Let's try this again. Okay, well, he takes two per, so... Come on, just be safe. Okay! I didn't even get a chance to hit him! Oh, and now we gotta go all the way back. But hey, maybe he'll say something different to us now that we've rescued him. You never know. But at least we're... How far into this episode are we? Let me check. Yeah, we're like 20 minutes into the episode, and we've almost finished this... Um, this world, this level. We've got two more Jiggies to find, and we already know where they are. One is trapped behind one Jinjo that we know where it is. It's up on one of those pipes. And then the other one we can literally see, we just don't know how to get to it. This is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Swim underwater, because it's faster than anything. Uh, hello? Oh, that's one of the honeycomb things. Yeah, grab that. Because that one's easy. Um, no, can you... No, no, don't do that. Just turn and... Just, no, just turn around. There we go. Alright, now quickly swim up. I refuse to die again. To something so pitifully easy. No, 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 no. Swim up, I said. Swim up. Jeez, man. These swimming controls are... Are you gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, come on! I'm pressing the attack button! What do you want from me, game? I'm jumping and attacking. You showed me that that's how you get him. I don't know what you want from me to do if... You're not letting that work. Can I just sneak? Okay. Alright. I'll see you in a bit. I'm not going to waste another three minutes getting over there. See you in three minutes. Three days later. Okay, got him. All right, start the timer again. Now I just have to not die. Oh, should be easy enough, I guess. Maybe. Came the famous last words. All right. Just have to delicately make my way. Okay. And we can go slow. We don't need to go fast here. Okay, yeah, we just have to make it past. Don't have to go fast. Um, I'm confused here. How do I... Do I have to wa Oh, I bet I have to run up its tail. Okay, but then I'm still missing some music notes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure I'll find them. I mean, they can't be that hard to locate. It's not like this place is that big. It's still an N64 game. It still has N64 game-sized levels. All right. Take me up. Because I absolutely am going to have to use... Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, so we really need to thread the needle for that. Really need to thread the needle for that, because it, it's not exactly a quick jaunt back up. I mean, it is technically a quick jaunt, because we're using the speed run move, but you know what I mean. Oh, got it. Wait. Wait a minute. Where are... Where's the way in? 
I'm confused. Do I? Can I? Okay, I can just hit it with my air move. All right. Get that jiggy. Woo! All right. We're missing one Jinjo and eight music notes. Wait, are we missing a Jinjo? Aren't we? How come it doesn't show them? Okay, there they are. Missing one Jinjo and eight music notes. I don't know where they could be. Um, well, I do know where they could be, actually. My only guess is down below, so... Could easily be in a pipe. So let's check the pipes. Okay, nothing in there. What's in this pipe? Nope, just some invincibility feathers, which I should actually probably make use of at some point. Um, especially if I ever needed to run past more of those annoying um, slug guys in the walls. Also, did I go up that one? Yes, I absolutely did, because that's the one directly in front of him. And I went up that one. And there's not one over there. But I went in that one, because that's the one that looped around and led me to... Huh. Hmm. Where could they be? Is there one, like, hanging up that I didn't notice? Not that I see anywhere. Is there one all, all the way up? Again, not that I see, huh? Where could they be? Two hours later. Hmm? What is that? Why do I keep hearing a whistle? Wait, is this a thing I can go in? Hold on. Wait, this is a thing I can go in. Oh my god, it was in there! Holy crap, okay. Alright, hi everybody, I'm back. That's all the Jinji- the, uh, Jiggies, because I found the last Jinjo. How did I never hear it, uh, whistling at me this entire time? Um, I still don't know where the- Wait a minute, I know where the- I know where those last- I know where the last eight music notes are. They're down here, because I explicitly, yup, I explicitly did not get the ones from down here. Because all I wanted to do was focus on the key. And now this is going to be a pain to get them all. Because I'm going to have to circle around with a slowly diminishing oxygen level. Oh, come on, just give me the bubble. Just give me the bubbles! Okay. Hi, Gloop. I, I want to grab more air bubbles from you, please, if I can. Can I bring the chain back down? That would be mean. Okay, just, just... Okay, there we go. We're at least back to full. And that I can work with. So I'll use his I'll use the wings to start me on the path, and then I'll use Banjo to course correct. Oh, we've got two more left. Come on. I can do this. Oh, one more. Come on. It's right there. We did it, everybody! We did it. Now all I need to do is pop a bubble. Okay. Well, we're about to die, but I guess that's fine, because it'll it still keeps all our progress, and at least we don't have to swim back to the start of the level, then. I mean, we're going to lose the life, but... Hey, 
I'm okay with that, honestly. Yeah, and then, because it still keeps... Yep, yeah, so I don't care. Back to the outside world. Alright. Let's go get ourselves into a snow level, then. And then once we do that, once we're in the snow level, we'll call this an episode. I think would be is a pretty good place to stop, although I do want to see what the deal with Gruntilda's face is in this main area now. Do I just stomp on it? I think I do. And I get a Jiggy? I get a Jiggy! Yeah, baby! And you know what? Just because we're having fun here. What do you have to say? Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese-flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck! And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Honestly, compared to the stuff you were saying before, that's pretty... That's not that damning. That's pretty tame. Compared to everything you said before. Alright, which way to the snow area again? We have to go... Okay. So we have to go back to... Long of tooth and strong of arm. Grunty's got the lasting charm. I'm sure you do, Grunty. I'm sure you do. You're not compensating for anything. Actually, I mean, we know for a fact that she's compensating for something. The whole plot of the game is that she's compensating for something. All right. Now, it's this way, right? Because it's the way to the swamp, and then instead of going to the swamp, we put the boots on... And we walk through the back. That's... Yep. And then, of course, it won't actually be back here. This is just the way to unlock it. But we'll walk that way when we come to it. Walk that way! Walk that way! It's a bad parody of an Aerosmith song. We're gonna walk that way! You know, I think... The more I think about it, I think the the pair of boots you put on directly determines how long they stay on. Because you look, we put the ones on from back in that for opening area. And that opening area is specific, or the boots in there are specifically meant to, like, get you back here. And the ones we put on out here are much shorter, which are specifically meant to get you just back to the, to the hut. So, hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe they're literally context sensitive. Where is that? No, but for real though, where is that? Okay, I guess. Like, watch, I'm about to prove my theory. We put these boots on. They last significantly shorter than the other ones because... These ones are just meant to get us to that little hut, whereas the other ones were meant to get us that whole way. Watch. Yep. Told you. I don't know how the game does it, but I guess it just does. Um, how do I, where do I go to get to Freeze Easy Peak? I truly do not know. Um, I have an idea. I think it's the only place we haven't gone to yet. So, we're gonna go try to find it. Um, but apart from that, I don't know where to go or which way to go. I truly don't. Maybe this is a next episode thing, because I'm at a loss. Oh, okay, we do get up here, because this has one of these now. Yeah, get off of... yeah. Oh, and plus we have enough music notes now. That's why we couldn't get up here to begin with. Yeah, because I have 400, because I'm a boss. Uh-huh. Because I've gotten through... Uh, Mumbo's Mountain, perfect. Treasure Trove Cove, perfect. Clanker's Cavern, perfect. Bubble Gloop Swamp, perfect. I am rolling through this game, and if my estimation from before was correct, um, there should only be a couple more levels. Only we Actually, maybe we're halfway there? I don't know. Maybe. Mumbo Skull. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. 
What loft are you referring to, Grunty? Okay, this is 350. Oh, big spider-based area, I see. But I'm not worried about that. Is this a trampoline? Okay, I guess not. I'm not worried about the spider webs. I'm only going this way because this looks like the place that might hide a freeze level. It does! We'll worry about all the stuff that's outside it later because I want to head inside and see what this level has in store for us. Ooh, this music! The peak's got another new move waiting for... Oh, whoops, I forgot it did that. All right, pretend like we didn't do that. The peak's got another new move waiting for you, if you can find it. Well, check this place out. This is very snowy, and oh, it has slippery controls. Okay, well, this is surely going to be fun, and I can't wait to explore this level with all of you in the next episode. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for coming along with me. We've helped Clanker. We, we, he's all better now, and now we're going to freeze our tukuses off getting through this level. And I can't wait to do it with you. And this has been Banjo-Kazooie. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.